I'll be going over seven of the hottest SaaS products, and for each of them, we'll be taking a look at who it was founded by, what the product does, and the problem it's solving. I think you really enjoy these here, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. The first example we're taking a look at today is called SuperUnit. It's AI-powered ERP for companies manufacturing or selling physical goods. It's currently sitting at around $8,300 in monthly recurring revenue, and they just signed a pilot to test things out with a $200 million apparel company. It was founded by Peter and Zach, and overall, it's targeting the problem that companies selling physical products spend a fortune on accounting and they're still left with incorrect financials because of inventory related complications and this tool helps to fix that. And it's because current bookkeeping methods rely heavily on manual input and are often disconnected from accurate inventory data. And this leads to mistakes. And so what SuperUnit is, is a powerful AI accounting agent built specifically for companies selling physical goods. And they're gonna help automate bookkeeping and complete a variety of crucial product operation tasks, such as calculating cost of goods sold, optimizing purchase orders, and conducting contribution margin analysis with only a few clicks. Next up, we have a product called Quetzal. It's a simple LLM first translation and internationalization for software. It was founded by John and Brendan, and it allows you to translate your product instantly, and it aims to be the fastest and easiest way to solve all your translation and internationalization issues all in one platform. If you were to look at the existing solution for this, and you want to internationalize your product, it could be a daunting task to see exactly what you have to do. As it currently relies on engineers haphazardly providing text to an internationalization service, which then needs to be translated on a string by string basis. This strategy loses important context and leads to poor quality, inconsistent translations, all while putting unnecessary work on engineers. So this product takes a new modern internationalization solution that understands your specific goals with each localization problem you're trying to solve. And it makes it super easy as well as you can easily monitor your status. Mika AI is the third example here and there are AI agents that automate B2B sales. And it's gonna help B2B sales teams close more deals by automating their entire sales follow-up process. They're gonna analyze sales calls, generate tailored collateral, as well as follow up with prospects until the deal is closed. This helps address the problem that the best sales reps aren't just great at selling, they're elite content creators. They create tailored content like decks, one pagers, and product demos to help champion the product and help champions advocate internally. However, creating this content takes over 30 minutes per call. With multiple calls a day, even the best reps can only prioritize a few clients, leaving others with subpar follow ups and millions in lost deals. So Mika is gonna help automate this process and help generate this deal closing collateral in less than one minute. They're gonna use AI to analyze sales calls, extract key insights to help build that tailored collateral. It's also gonna send this to prospects in a centralized deal summary page. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna go and build your very own micro SaaS. And I have you covered with a complete academy that's gonna show you how to build, scale, and profit from your very own micro software as a service product. Product, even if you don't have any product ideas, funding, or SaaS experience. Or if you're just looking for some micro SaaS ideas, I also have you covered as well. You can get them for free. There's a link in the description below. Formula Insight is our next example, and it helps institutional investors manage and track and query their Excel models. And they're essentially launching a new equity research platform, as right now institutional investors use spreadsheets to manage billions of dollars for investments. However, key insights are lost when connecting the dots between complex, Excel financial models with millions of cells and across hundreds of SEC filings, management transcripts, and research papers. So Formula Insight is going to help expedite the research process by analyzing these critical documents in minutes to help investors gain an edge in the public markets. It has two founders, Will and Stefan, and really addressing the problem that financial models in Excel are the backbone of every investment thesis. However, the workflow between the financial models and other key research documents has been separate. Sphere has three co-founders, Leon, Paul, and Pascal, and it's an AI supply chain manager for e-commerce. And it's going to focus on omni-channel e-commerce brands, supporting supply chain managers with demand planning, inventory optimization, and supplier communication. It's going to tell brands when to reorder, how much, and which warehouse to stock, as well as what cost it should be done at, helping to avoid stockouts and overstock, as well as improve inventory visibility and saving time overall. This is really targeting the problem that as soon as brands go multi-channel, such as entering a marketplace, there's gonna be new complexities when it comes to planning 
demand. And scaling to multiple channels often entails adding a new warehouse location through the supply chain. And this is also going to be accompanied by rising logistic costs and inventory constraints. So what Spherecast does is combine demand planning, replenishment, and inventory optimization all into one platform. And it's also going to connect to shop systems and ERPs automatically. And the overall mission of the company is to create a world where stockouts do not exist anymore, to get any product at the right place at the right time, all enabled by Spherecast. Pulse AI is our next example, and it's production grade unstructured document extraction. So a little bit of a mouthful there, but essentially there's solving the problem that most enterprise data is unstructured, making it difficult to parse with large language models. It's estimated about 75% of enterprise data is unstructured, so a vast majority of it, and the majority of it is directly within PDF files. And current solutions to get this data are slow, inaccurate, and expensive. And the solution is Pulse, as they've trained their own vision language model and OCR techniques to bridge this gap. And they think they've achieved a state-of-the-art vision model for documents and spreadsheets. We can see it working here as it's extracting the data from this PDF. And it lets you search across all your supply chain data to help find anything once it's extracted said data. It was also founded by Sid and Ritvig. Lastly, we have a product called Remade. Remade is going to use AI to hyper-personalize videos for marketplaces. There's four founders, Alex, Christos, Andy, as well as Rion. And the product's currently sitting at around 650,000 in contracted annual reoccurring revenue. And overall, it's quite a few features. They just recently launched a feature where all you have to do is upload an image of a product, create an AI background for the scene, and it's gonna help generate a TikTok hook, making it really easy to get stunning visual results. This concludes the video. We went over seven really cool SaaS examples. Let me know in the comments what you think of them. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.